LIFO, or last in first out, is an inventory valuation method where the most recently purchased inventory items are sold first. The most recent purchases go towards cost of goods sold, and older purchases are attributed towards ending inventory. This approach is beneficial during periods of inflation by allowing companies to reduce taxable income by matching higher costs of newer inventory against current revenues. As a result, businesses can showcase lower profits to lower their tax burden. The LIFO method is accepted under the U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, also known as GAAP, but it's not permitted under International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, so this creates significant differences in inventory reporting across countries. A key feature of the LIFO method is the LIFO reserve, which represents the difference between inventory values reported using LIFO and those that would have been reported under a different method like first in, first out, also known as FIFO method. The LIFO reserve is crucial for understanding the financial implications of using LIFO and provides insight into the company's inventory management strategies. So how do you calculate LIFO inventory? Calculating LIFO inventory involves tracking the cost of inventory purchased or produced in chronological lots. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions. Step one, track your purchases. Record each inventory purchase with its cost and quantity at the time of purchase. Step two, determine the cost of goods sold. When a sale occurs, Track the quantity sold and assign the cost of the most recently purchased inventory first, thus siphoning off the latest cost. If you sold, say, 100 units, you would take units from your newest stock until the quantity sold is fulfilled. Sum the cost of these sold units to calculate the total cost of goods sold during the accounting period. This method reflects higher costs in a time of rising prices, as the most recently purchased, and typically higher cost inventory items is accounted for first. Consequently, the remaining inventory values will reflect older, lower costs impacting asset valuation on the balance sheet. Step 3. Update the ending inventory. Deduct the sold inventory from the most recent lot before moving to earlier layers. In an inflationary environment, using LIFO results in higher cost of goods sold, but also holds less current inventory value and thus a lower taxable income than FIFO inventory valuation, influencing net profits and cash flow. Thus, LIFO valuation is significant in reflecting current market conditions, especially during times of inflation. Let's consider a hypothetical retail company, Widget Co., that sells gadgets. In 2024, Widget Co. made the following inventory purchases. January, they bought 100 units at $10 each. Total cost, $1,000. In March, they bought 150 units at $12 each. Total cost, $1,800. And in June, they bought 200 units at $15 each, equaling total cost of $3,000. By year-end, Widget Co. sold 280 units. Using the LIFO method for inventory costing, we calculate the cost of goods sold starting with the most recent purchases. From June, 200 units sold at $15. From March, 80 units sold at $12. So the total cost of sales, 3,000 plus 960 equals 3,960. Now we can compute the ending inventory. The remaining inventory consists of 70 units from March at $12 and all 100 units from January at $10. Therefore, your ending inventory would be $840 plus 1,000, totaling in $1,840. To summarize, with LIFO, the company's ending inventory reflected older cost layers, while cost of goods sold represents the latest purchases impacting financial statements accordingly. What is LIFO reserve? LIFO reserve, often called excess of FIFO over LIFO, is the difference of your inventory's book value under the two assumptions. For accounting personalities, the LIFO reserve account is a contra asset account tied to inventory. The balance in the account shows the cumulative effect of switching from the FIFO method to LIFO for financial reporting purposes, going all the way back to when you first adopted LIFO reserve method. Under normal circumstances, like rising prices, the LIFO reserve account will reflect the lower value of inventory under LIFO by having a credit balance. Cost of goods sold reflects the change in the LIFO reserve account from year to year. At times, investors examine your LIFO reserve to see how you stack up against a company using FIFO for tax reporting. What is LIFO liquidation? LIFO liquidation occurs when a company using the LIFO inventory method exhausts its oldest cost layers of inventory. In LIFO, the most recently purchased inventory is sold first at its current cost, leaving older, lower-cost inventory on the balance sheet. When a company sells 
through these older layers, it can lead to a decrease in reported cost of goods sold, resulting in higher gross profits. The implications of LIFO liquidation are significant for profit and income taxes. As older, lower cost inventory is sold, the gross profits rise, potentially leading to an increase in taxable income. This could result in higher tax liabilities as the company's profits are assessed at a higher rate. In terms of inventory management, leveraging LIFO versus FIFO can lead to different strategic outcomes. LIFO may delay tax impacts due to lower taxable income in periods of rising prices, while FIFO tends to reflect more current market values in gross profit reporting. Companies should carefully evaluate their inventory management strategy and consider the long-term consequences of relying on LIFO amidst fluctuations in inventory costs. In conclusion, the LIFO inventory accounting method significantly enhances inventory management by providing crucial tax planning benefits and effective financial reporting. During periods of inflation, LIFO allows companies to report lower taxable income since the most recently purchased higher cost inventory is expensed first. This reduction of reported income translates to lower tax liabilities and frees up cash for reinvestment. Moreover, the LIFO reserve, a key component of LIFO, offers businesses insights into inventory costs versus sales prices. This metric allows businesses to assess the gap between the financial statements prepared under LIFO and those under other methods, enabling informed decision-making about pricing and inventory strategies. Additionally, LIFO aids in comparability across industry competitors, as using a consistent accounting method allows stakeholders to better evaluate performance relative to others in the same sector. Overall, the LIFO method is a strategic tool in inventory management, enhancing tax planning, improving financial reporting accuracy, and enabling insightful inventory-related decisions.